Alright guys, just got off work, stopped at this little bridge over here, and I'm just to do a little fishing, just to do some fishing, and uh, the wind has been blowing like 30 mile an hour for the last two days, so we're going to fish off the bridge here instead of a lake. Snatched it out of his mouth. Worm was too long. Worm was too long. So, what we're gonna do? What we're gonna do? We're gonna cut this worm off a little bit. Okay? So, where are my cutters at? I hate to cut them off like that, but this time of year they don't really want to suck them down all the time. What water is pretty and clear. You're welcome to walk down that head bar right there and walk out there and fish if you want to. They don't care? No. Good. Okay. Just don't mess with the building, though. You're good, yeah. All right, man. Yeah. Appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. The wind is crazy, man. It's blowing my line back this way. And pulling my bait upstream. sandbar in the middle of underwater. I mean that wind's blowing so hard I can't even throw a worm. You guys, y'all understand that? It's got my line bowed out so far that it's taking my bait upstream. Oh, I got one. <laughs> oh, he turned it loose. That felt like a really good one, y'all. I'm talking really good. How did it not get him? I bet you if I'd have had that VMC hook on here, I'd be reeling the fish in. I'm going back in there after it. I mean, that felt good, y'all. More than two pounds, good. Or next time. That ain't gonna work, is it? Look at the wind blowing that worm. It might work. I don't even have to work it. The wind's doing it all. 
if I could just make a good cast like that and the wind not blow me way up in there. <laughs> a little bit of fish just took it and then dropped it took it and dropped it I'm sick of this short bite crap please get that hook in your mouth there's a little one chasing me right up underneath Wind's blowing the worm upstream. Try. Fun. Right there in that hole is where that big fish is. Two foot to the left. Something got it. Something got it. Oh. Something took it and moved it off its bed. That guy said I could walk down this head wall and fish. So that's what I'm going to do. Let me see what it looks like over here. Ain't that pretty? Ain't that pretty? Wonder what old spinner baited do. Reckon they get them excited. Once again, grab the tail. Oh my lord. It wasn't very hey good. Thanks for watching the video so far. That was a stressful day. It was just uh, about 30 minutes or so. But that's part of it, I guess. It's called fishing and not catching. But uh, I, I'm adding a little video to the end of it here where I actually caught some fish the next day in a little roadside creek after work. So, uh, hope y'all enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Guys, I'm out here on the creek today on this little slow section. Never fished this area. I'm gonna try not to get snake bit. I get to these little spots like this thinking I know what I want to fish with, and then when I get here, that kind of changes, and I don't know what I want to fish with. I do know there's bass in here, I just don't know about this area. Because when it's muddy like this, muddy banks, 
murky water. That makes me think of catfish. Like there's only catfish in here. And uh, I really don't know. So let's see. One boys and girls. If I can hold on to it. Yeah. Oh, that's a good creek fish there, boy. That's a good one. Oh man, she's a fat girl. Oh no. Don't let me get poked one of these. Check it out, check it out. That's a hog there. That's a hog. I guess I aggravated her enough. Man, look at that. Full of eggs, full of eggs. She's about ready to lay them things. About ready to drop them. I'm gonna say about a pound, maybe a pound and a half. Let's check it. All right, we're on pounds. Let's see. Ooh, one point, one point four eight. There it is. Not bad, not bad. When that drops, when she drops these eggs, she's gonna be small. Anyway, all right, cat daddy. All right, you go. Lay them babies somewhere. All right, all right. 